Lynette is one of roughly 700 veterans and active duty personnel who will be taking part in a groundbreaking PTSD study at the Cincinnati VA Medical Center and two other locations. Researchers are looking deep into their DNA for answers on what causes the disease. Joining me now is Dr. Kate Shard, an expert on P PTSD who's leading this study. I want to thank you for joining me, thank Dr. Shard. You. So when we say we're looking for PTSD and evidence of it in our bodies, where are we looking for it? We're looking in blood, we're mm -hmm. looking in saliva, but we're also looking in brain waves because we hope that if we look at the proteins and the chemicals that naturally occur in the body, we can find PTSD. And is finding it going to be finding a difference in a subset of people who have PTSD? We hope to not only find a difference between people who have it and don't, but we think there's actually subtypes of PTSD, different kinds of PTSD that may respond differently to different types of treatment. S speaking of that, what can this kick open the door to? We truly think this can have an amazing benefit, not just to our veterans, but to civilians as well, because we can actually match the treatment faster, mm -hmm. earlier to the individual so that the treatment works as quickly as possible to help make them better and get their life back. Let's establish something. Right now we diagnose PTSD how? We use a clinical interview typically, where mm -hmm. we talk to them about their symptoms. So it's not anything that you can pinpoint within your body? No, they can talk about how they feel, yeah. how their stomach hurts, how they have flashbacks and nightmares, mm -hmm. but we don't have a way of finding it so easily. And that's where this would be different. This study will be groundbreaking. Okay, $4.3 million from the Department of Defense to get this done, right? Exactly, at active duty and veteran bases. Mm -hmm. And you are enrolling people? We are currently. Okay, how many years is this We're hoping go? to be done in less than three years. Wow and it could revolutionize the way we diagnose and treat. This will change all future treatment studies potentially in terms of identifying patients with PTSD and getting them to the best treatment for them as quickly as possible. In your mind, how would this whole study be a win? If we can even have one patient mm -hmm. get better faster where they don't have to suffer with these symptoms, we have Korean War, we have World War II, we have Vietnam veterans still suffering so many years later. And if we can have that stop and, and stop the clock now for our returning veterans mm -hmm. and, and get them to care right away, that's the perfect win for me. All right. Dr. Shard, we will be following the progress right. of the study. Thank, Thank you for joining us. Thank you. If you know someone you know might be interested in enrolling in the study, you can find the phone number to call on my web story. All you have to do is go to WCPO.com.